Well, this is pretty exciting. Mike and I are fishing a largemouth only tournament on Lake St. Clair. So as much as we love chasing the big smallies on this lake, it's pretty exciting to go chase some green ones for a while. Love largemouth fishing. I'm hoping not to put a spinning rod on the deck all day. So we're just getting ready to blast off now. So stick with us and see how we make out today. Nice. Another green one on the spinnerbait. Yep. All right. You can measure that for the. Oh yeah, you better get the net. I don't. Oh man, there. A little bigger than the last one, anyways. That's good. My new warthog color. That's the color I got Dave to pour me up. Right. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, you'll cut. It's thicker. No giant, but it's getting better. Well, a bit of a midday update. We have caught a pile of fish. It's been actually really fun. We don't have any real big ones though, so our five I don't even know what they'd weigh, but that's not good. We really need the upgrade, but we still have probably three hours left to fish, two and a half hours left to fish anyway, so I'm sure we can get some big bites. Now with the sun up, it should push them in the cover a little tighter and we can flip some fish. So yeah, hoping for some bigger bites this afternoon. Good one. Shrink. Shrinking. Dang, they shrink.
I don't know. Nice fish. I feel don't lose light. Any. <laughs> don't lose any because I feel like. So we weighed 1410, which is a pretty decent bag of large mouths. I'm not unhappy with it. It's certainly not a winning weight. Winning weight was over 20 pounds, which is amazing weight. What a great job they did to get those big fish on this lake. But this lake's not known for its large mouths, but it was fun to be able to chase them and to use a, a frog and a flipping jig and, and spinner baits and things like that we don't get to use for small mouths. And uh, it was just really fun change of pace. So really enjoyed that. The club did a good job. The little uh, Blue Water Anglers Club, they did a good job putting on this tournament. Weighing went smooth and everyone was distanced and it was safe that way and uh, had a good release got all the fish back but yeah congrats to the winners with 20 pounds it's a great bag of fish so i'm gonna get the boat on the trailer and then I'm, when i'm back at the shop i'll show you the baits that we use today well what a lot of fun we had fishing a large mole tournament on lake st Clair. Um, i love fishing in lake st Clair small most and, and fishing tournaments for them and and realistically to be competitive in a tournament on lake st Clair, you have to fish small mole bass that's that's where the really big bags are going to come from is fishing the big small most that live there so the opportunity to fish a large mole tournament on Lake St. Clair is awesome. Love fishing large mouths. Don't get to do it enough, that's for sure. So we did not get the pretty fish for this tournament. We just showed up and fished it. And so we were basically fishing memories. Um, so we moved, for, especially early in the morning, we used a lot of moving baits to cover water. So first fish of the day, I know you didn't see it on the video, but the first fish of the day, you would caught on a frog. It was awesome, big blow up, not a giant fish. We ended up calling it out by the end of the day, but just a lot of fun to do some frog fishing. Um, first video you see on, the, or first fish you see on the video actually was on a CL fishing spinnerbait. And uh, well, again, we were fishing this weed line drop area and throwing a spinnerbait on it. Before the sun got up too high, the spinnerbait was catching them pretty good. Uh, again, CL fishing, and for full disclosure, I own CL fishing. Great way to support the channel if you want to get some of our baits. But we did catch some fish on the CL shad spinnerbait. But as the sun got up a bit and started to move them in tighter to the weed line, we started focusing more on the edge and we started throwing a Angler's Choice Warthog and this bait clobbered them. This weed line we were fishing or this drop was loaded with schooling fish. Not a lot of big ones and again we ended up culling a lot of the fish but we just caught so many. We had double headers and all on like a wacky rigged, a weightless wacky rigged Warthog and again we just caught them like crazy on this soft plastic bait. Great bait. And then the bait that caught most of our big fish that we actually weighed in was the CL Fish and Flippin' Jig teamed up with an Angler's Choice Flap and Craw. And this combo caught, I think, four of the five fish we weighed in. Once the sun got up high in the sky and started pushing the fish into the heavier cover, we did move to a shallower area with some really heavy cover and just started flipping. And we probably spent the whole afternoon basically flipping a jig and craw 
and that's where we called out most of our smaller fish and weighed in the fish that we did weigh in. So this jig and crawl combo was awesome. It was in and out of the cover without hanging out. This big hook got those fish into the boat. And if you're interested in getting any of the baits I mentioned, there is in the description below the video, there is links to all these baits. And depending on when you watch this, there are some pretty good discount codes as well. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope I'll see you outside.